Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. Have you heard? Japan's first ASML EUV lithography machine will be delivered in the middle of next month, and it will be used for trial production at Rapidus Wafer Factory. This is not a simple matter, we have to talk about it. First of all, we have to understand what EUV lithography machine is. Simply put, this lithography machine is a key equipment for chip manufacturing, which can carve super small circuit patterns on silicon wafers. And this EUV, which means extreme ultraviolet light, is one of the most advanced lithography technologies at present. Chips made with EUV lithography machines have stronger performance and lower power consumption, which is high-tech among high-tech. So what is the origin of Rapidus Wafer Factory? This is a newly established semiconductor foundry company in Japan, backed by eight big companies such as Toyota, SoftBank, Denso, and NTT and its goal is to manufacture high-end chips. They introduced EUV lithography machines this time to improve their manufacturing capabilities and strive to gain a place in the semiconductor field. Speaking of this, we have to mention ASML. ASML is the leader in the lithography industry. They produce more than 90% of the world's high-end lithography machines. And this EUV lithography machine is their masterpiece. Each unit costs hundreds of millions of dollars, and you have to wait in line for the goods. Rapidus has invested a lot of money to introduce this equipment. So how good is this EUV lithography machine? We have to talk about its technical features. First of all, its light source is extreme ultraviolet light, with a wavelength of only 13.5 nanometers, which is thinner than one thousandth of our hair. Such fine light can carve super small circuit patterns on silicon wafers, greatly improving the integration of chips. Secondly, it uses multiple exposure technology, which can expose multiple times on the same silicon wafer, further improving the accuracy and performance of the chip. Finally, its production efficiency is also very high and it can process hundreds of silicon wafers per hour, greatly shortening the production cycle of chips. After Rapidus Wafer Factory introduces this EUV lithography machine, it can greatly improve its manufacturing capabilities. In the past, they could only produce some low-end and mid-range chips, but now with this equipment, they can try to produce high-end chips. This is a great thing for them. After all, the market demand for high-end chips is very large, and the profits are also very high. If Rapidus can gain a foothold in this field, the future development prospects will be limitless. Of course, the introduction of EUV lithography is only the first step, and Rapidus still has to face many challenges. For example, the maintenance and upkeep of this equipment is a big problem. EUV lithography is a precision instrument, and it may go wrong with the slightest disturbance. Therefore, Rapidus has to form a professional technical team to take charge of this matter. In addition, the energy consumption of this equipment is also very high, and liquid nitrogen 
has to be used to cool it down. Rapidus has to think about how to reduce energy consumption costs. Otherwise the electricity bill will be an astronomical figure. However, having said that, Rapidus's ability to introduce this EUV lithography machine also shows their strength and determination in the semiconductor field. After all, this is not a device that everyone can get. Rapidus can get it which means that they have accumulated certain advantages in terms of funds, technology, and market. In the future, as long as they continue to increase investment, strengthen research and development, and expand the market, it is not impossible to become a leader in the semiconductor field. Speaking of this, we also have to mention China's development in the semiconductor field. China has also been vigorously developing the semiconductor industry in recent years. Although there is still a certain gap with the international advanced level, we have been working hard to catch up. Moreover, China has its own advantages such as large market size, rich talent pool, strong policy support, etc. Therefore, we are still full of confidence in the future development of the semiconductor field. Finally, we have to say that the development of science and technology is really changing with each passing day. In the past, we may have thought that making chips was a far-fetched thing, but now even Japan can introduce such advanced EUV lithography machines. This shows that our world is getting smaller and smaller, and technology is becoming more and more popular. As ordinary people, although we may not understand these advanced technologies, we can also feel the convenience and changes that technology brings to our lives. So we support the development of science and technology and pay attention to scientific and technological progress to make our lives better. In general, the introduction of ASML EUV lithography machines by Rapidus Fab in Japan is big news. It not only marks an important step for Japan in the development of semiconductors, but also provides reference and inspiration for China's development in the semiconductor field. We look forward to seeing more such technological advances in the future to make our lives better.